So Engineers Australia is really enthusiastic to partner with Scient to offer a high value event such as this. So Western Australia is facing a number of significant challenges at the moment. So if you look now what happens, industrialisation, onshoring, making things has become popular again. And it's really up to you to say, hey, in my industry I can take advantage, I can be a leader, I can be an early adopter, I can be a driver, I can see a business opportunity. What we have seen as a science fiction uh, three decades ago, we, we can see that is, that is what is happening as we speak now. The world is changing, the technology is changing. The only way we can remain constant, current and uh, successful will be by collaboration. And our students need to be well versed in this world of collaboration, communication, the vast amount of knowledge and data that is out there. I think if, if we want to use what we can do in Australia in terms of technology, growth, innovation, to be honest, the market in Australia is not big enough to get the best benefit out of that without expanding into a more global perspective. Things are changing, people are also changing. The skill sets are changing. And people know the choice that they have to keep going up and then learning something new. In value creation, Australia's very good. It's been recognised as it's been really good at value creation. We've got great ideas, we've got lots of ideas. But we're not really good at value capture. We're not very good at actually being able to uh, get the value from our ideas back into the country to create wealth. It is sad to see uh, that we're not as inv inventive and innovative as we, we like to believe that we sometimes uh, are. Uh, so I, I like uh, how we provoke ourselves and how we're going to bring it together. To the end user, uh, to the operator, uh, what we really want to do is, is make it as straightforward and simple as possible uh, so they can actually focus on problem solving and investigation of why something's not optimal. It's a really exciting space because um, it's a future that's going to change rapidly and, and nobody can guess quite where it's going to go. So I think, it's, uh, I think transportation in the next 30 years is, uh, is a great place to be in. You know, if you look out over the next 10 years, um, I think the oil and gas industry confronts a significant challenge to its legitimacy as a business. So in that context it becomes really important for us to get together in a forum like this and get to talk about evolution of technology, evolution of engineering and more importantly how we can participate in this evolution of technology and evolution of engineering altogether.